On a clear, moonlit night, when we look up to the sky, we see a mesmerizing sight of thousands of twinkling stars. However, what we see with our naked eyes is just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. Peer into the vastness of the Milky Way through high-powered telescopes and a staggering billions of stars become visible. To put this in perspective, our own Milky Way galaxy is home to an estimated 100 to 400 billion stars. Extend your vision to neighboring galaxies and beyond, and the numbers become incomprehensible. From Earth, we see a big star every day, named the Sun. But when you compare the Sun with other stars in the universe, it appears very small. In reality, the Sun is just an average-sized dot in front of them. In the vast universe, you will find stars that are not just a little big. They are significantly more massive. So, what is the size of the largest star we have discovered so far? And what is the name of the biggest star? How big can stars be in theory? Today, we will also tell by comparing the sun with the biggest star. You are watching Cosmic Discovery. Subscribe to the channel for more knowledge-packed videos like this. When discussing the largest stars in the known universe, it boils down to whether we're referring to mass or total volume. Mass represents the amount of matter a star contains, while volume indicates the space it occupies. Interestingly, the most massive stars often appear unremarkable in sheer size, and the most voluminous ones may hold less matter relative to their physical dimensions. As stars age, they typically shed mass, a phenomenon occurring with our sun as it progresses in years. In approximately five billion years, as it depletes its nuclear fuel, the Sun will transform into a bloated red giant, potentially engulfing the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. Despite this process making our Sun enormous, there are stars in the cosmos that surpass it in size by a considerable margin. Before delving into stars with the greatest physical size, let's first explore the current record holder for mass, known as BAT-99, 98. This star boasts an impressive estimated mass of 226 times that of the Sun, essentially packing in 226 suns worth of matter into one celestial body. The exact process that led to this star's extraordinary mass is not entirely clear, but scientists speculate that it may have formed through the merger of two stars. Scientific models propose that BAT 99, 98 is a mere 7.5 million years old, making it remarkably young compared to the Sun, which has been around for 4.6 billion years. Additionally, since its inception, this massive star has been rapidly shedding its mass. Calculations suggest it has already lost an amount equivalent to 20 suns. Due to its high level of activity, there is a prevailing belief that Biat 99, 98 will ultimately conclude its existence in a dramatic and catastrophic manner with a high probability of experiencing a supernova event that leaves behind a black hole. Despite Biat 99, 98's immense mass, it falls far short of claiming the title for the largest star in terms of physical size. With an estimated radius merely 37.5 times that of the Sun, it doesn't come close in sheer dimensions. If you were to ask Google, what is the largest star in the universe? you'd find numerous websites asserting that UY Scuti holds that distinction. This red supergiant was, until recently, considered the largest star ever observed by physical size, initially believed to be around 1,700 times the size of the Sun. However, it was later discovered that the distance of UY Scuti from Earth had been inaccurately measured leading to a significant revision of its estimated radius to 775 times the size of the Sun. This adjustment knocked it off the top spot. The new measurement places UY Scuti closer in size to well-known stars like Betelgeuse or Antares, still incredibly massive but far from claiming the title of the largest. In fact, it currently doesn't even rank among the top 80 in terms of size. Now let's talk about another star that until a couple of years ago was also thought to be the largest, Stevenson 2, 18. This potential red hypergiant star was believed to be so colossal that if it were positioned in our solar system, it would engulf the orbit of Saturn. To 
to put its size into perspective, if you could travel around Stevenson to 18 at the speed of light, it would take nearly nine hours to complete one orbit. In contrast, making a similar journey around the sun would only take 14.5 seconds. Some approximations suggest that Stevenson 2, 18 could be as much as 2,150 times the radius of the sun. However, stellar evolutionary theory introduces a potential hurdle because there may be a theoretical limit to how large stars can grow, capped at around 1,500 times the radius of the sun. This discrepancy raises the possibility that Stevenson 2, 18 might have been overestimated, potentially due to uncertainties about its distance from Earth, which could be as much as 50%. Similar to the case of UY Scuti, this uncertainty could significantly impact the estimated size. Nevertheless, my research didn't uncover a definitive equation outlining how large a star can grow. The maximum size appears to depend not only on mass, but also on factors like composition, evolutionary history, and the strength of its stellar wind. For potential giants like Stevenson II, 18, the outer atmosphere theoretically has the potential to expand indefinitely. However, there comes a point where the diffuse gas in its outer layers merges with the interstellar medium and can no longer be considered part of the stellar surface. When it comes to gauging the dimensions of colossal stars, it turns out that it's quite a challenging endeavor. These celestial entities are, without a doubt, incredibly massive, ranging from thousands to millions of times the volume of the sun. They are situated at vast distances, shining intensely, and, as I previously mentioned, often feature expansive atmospheres and photospheres that are constantly changing and frequently veiled in massive clouds of dust, making it quite challenging to discern their true size. Despite these challenges, astronomers undertake the task by considering various factors, including the distance and the surrounding environment of a star. Through these measurements, among other considerations, they can generate estimates that provide a degree of confidence, falling within a range of possibilities. So, according to our most accurate measurements, which star currently holds the title of the largest in the known universe? Well, according to the list of the largest known stars, that honor currently belongs to a red supergiant known as WG64. This star is situated approximately 160,000 light years away in a neighboring satellite galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. WG64 boasts an estimated radius of 1,540 times that of the Sun. To put it into perspective, if WG64 replaced the Sun in our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. This measured radius aligns well with the theoretical growth limit and is consistent with many other large red supergiants found in various regions of the cosmos. UG64 is probably in the advanced phases of its stellar evolution. Stars in this category have depleted their nuclear fuel, causing their outer layers to expand, turning them into authentic cosmic giants. Additionally, this colossal star is enveloped in a torus-shaped cloud of dust, approximately a light year in diameter, formed by the materials it has expelled. Remarkably, estimates suggest that if all the material within the torus cloud were gathered, it would be sufficient to replicate our entire solar system nine times over. So, have we finally unraveled the mystery? Is WG64 undeniably the largest star in the known universe? Well, it's not quite that straightforward, as other studies have measured this colossal star and obtained significantly different results. In fact, one source indicated a measurement of 2,575 times the radius of the Sun, surpassing even the potentially overestimated size of Stevenson II, 18. If this measurement holds true, WG-64 would effortlessly engulf Saturn's orbit. Traveling around it at the speed of light would take almost ten and a half hours for one complete orbit. To put it into perspective, light from the Sun only takes four hours to reach Pluto. 
So while it's evident that the universe hosts some truly immense stars at various points in their life cycle, pinpointing the absolute largest one remains unclear until more precise measurements are available. Nevertheless, with continuous advancements in observational techniques and technology, astronomers will have the opportunity to refine their measurements and gain a deeper understanding of these cosmic giants. While WG64 might currently hold the record as the largest star ever observed in the known universe, there's a sense that the top spot could change in the future. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.